experiment time. Today we're going to find the best way to create oven spring in your Dutch oven. This will be interesting. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to experiment with oven spring when baking in a Dutch oven or covered in some other way. In my last oven spring experiment, we saw that it was, okay, marginally better to turn the oven off during the first part of the bake than not. So other methods that I see people advocate for adding oven spring are spraying the dough with water just before baking and putting ice cubes uh, into the Dutch oven just before baking. So what I will try today is comparing those three methods with all of the methods at the same time. Which method are you rooting for? If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. The dough that I'm making for this experiment is my master recipe with 80% hydration, since the bread flour that I'm using needs a bit more water. That's 80% bread flour and 20% rye flour, 20% inoculation and 2% salt. The flours that I'm using are Caputo Manitoba Oro for the bread flour and Kornbümülle Rye No. 3 for the rye flour. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the experiment. This is not a recipe, it's an experiment. If you want to learn how to bake sourdough bread, I recommend you watch my video on my master recipe link is in the description. I'll quickly go through the making of the dough, but the important part is the baking. First I mix everything for the dough. Then I leave the dough to rest for an hour to develop the gluten. Then I perform three sets of stretch and folds. and I leave the dough to rise to 25%. Then it's time to pre-shape the dough. After a short rest, I final shape it.
Then I put the dough in the fridge for about eight hours. So I start out by baking the oven off during the first part of the bake. I dust it. I flip it. I score it. And then I bake it. I turn off the oven and let the heat lower while baking for the first 20 minutes. Then I turn the oven back on to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's looking great. Great spring. After 25 minutes more, I take the bread out. Then I load the second one. And I grab my spray bottle and spray the dough liberally with water. This is the reveal. Wow, nice spring too. Then I load the third dough. I grab a couple of ice cubes and place them in the challenger. Then after 20 minutes, I reveal the bread. <laughs> Looking great too. Then the last dough. I add some ice cubes, spray it with water, and then I turn the oven off. After the 20 minutes are up, I open and reveal the bread. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, here is the bread right out of the oven. They look surprisingly alike. I'll show you the crumb of each bread, and then afterwards I'll tell you my conclusion of this experiment. But first, a lot of you have asked for me to share the side table that I made for my girlfriend for Christmas. I finally got around to grabbing a little bit of video of it. It's made of pine, and I had absolutely no plan when I started making it other than an estimated height. Well, here it is. I hope you like it. And now, time for the crumb. and all four together. So that was interesting. There really wasn't a clear winner. Really not that much difference in oven spring, which means that they're all good, no matter which one is your favorite. I will say though that the ice cube method was quite a mess. Have a look at my challenger bread pan after the bake. It's a mess. 
But since it's made from cast iron, it's nothing a bit of scrubbing and oil can't fix. I scrubbed it clean and put on a thin, thin layer of oil. Then I put it on my stove and gave it full heat until it stopped smoking. And here's how it looks now. Do you have another oven spring trick that I didn't test today? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.